wanted to uh, share another knife that I uh, have with me out here today at the park that um, I've had for, oh, let's see, I think I first got it in 2012, and um, I've used it quite a bit, and it's a uh, Chinese-made bolo knife. Uh, the company name is Hero Edge. I don't know if this will focus up. I'll bring it up here. Hero, Hero Edge. And um, kind of a bolo style knife. Um, I've used it for bushcraft. I took it with me to uh, Dirt Time 2012. I made a um, leather uh, wrap for the handle so it gives me a little more non-slip surface. Um, the uh, length of the blade is right around seven, I think, uh, inches, seven and a half uh, of the cutting edge anyway. And the overall length, I want to say, is about 13 inches. It's a decent width, about eighth of an inch. So it's not ungodly big, like quarter inch, but not flimsy either. But one thing I did was um, take a file and... Uh, an electric pencil and I made uh, some striations and stippled them so I had a non-slip surface back here some jimping if you will on the back one thing that's interesting and, and I've seen uh, people use similar knives on the internet is these holes and this is so you can kind of choke up and you could clean um, hides uh, maybe scrape or do some fine work um, full tang, the handles are pinned on, they're some kind of a nice wood, they're actually very attractive uh, but um, they're slippy so I definitely wanted uh, more traction on the handle. It's a great chopper, it's got a lot of belly up here if you hold it kind of by the back and just kind of let the blade do the work um, it's a wonderful chopper, very handy and um, it'll carve carved uh, this dead hard willow it's even got termites um, holes in it it's it's very dead and just did a little carving with it uh, today that's a local nature school you hear with uh, in the background They're singing uh, songs with the uh, little kids, which is cool. It's good to see children outdoors. Yeah, so a lot of push cuts. It's kind of interesting doing uh, tri-stick with a big blade. Most of my work I do with a uh, small uh, blade, three maybe four inches, um, sometimes a folding hunter like a buck 110 or a Schrade, uh, I have a Schrade cave bear uh, or other knives that I've shown on the channel but carving with a big knife is um, it's really a challenge very um, you, you've got to be very careful and uh, you're choking up a lot and trying to use uh, the tip for um, little fine points like digging inside of um, inside of your um, uh, notches here to di it, but one thing that's really good is that this stout blade will pop chips out you don't have to worry about uh, breaking a blade my um, cave bear has a very fine blade it's uh, wonderful for cutting but um, I would be crazy to try and pop a chip with that slender narrow blade it's just not going to do it um, but then if you look at uh, like on the internet if you look at videos like uh, Alan Kay who uh, was the winner of the first season of Alone that guy um, can do just about anything with a uh, big uh, kukri you know and that's that's probably almost a two pound uh, knife and uh, I would put this at right around a, a little over a pound but um, Anyway, oh, and I made a sheath for it, too. It had a junky, junky sheath, so I made a uh, crow-style sheath, and I, I put a Chumash Coyote Dog and a 
sun symbol on it. And it just, it's a pouch sheath, crow, crow belt sheath. So yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd show that. Again, I, I kind of go back to what I say all along, you know, practice with everything. It, at the end of the day, it's you, your skills, your knowledge, your ability to manipulate um, that really brings the, um, the skill to the, uh, to the knife. The knife is just, you know, it's just an accoutrement. It's, it's you and what you know that makes the knife work. And uh, I would say that you're wise to practice with all kinds of different knives, small and large, um, and develop those skills understanding how to manipulate, how to hold and work um, a big heavy blade. Where are the balance points? You know, how do you, how do you use it? One thing that's nice is this narrow waist is almost like a spoke shave. So when I was making this um, trap uh, cut here, it was very nice for flattening that out. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. And... Um, We'll talk to you guys later.